Hello, Pine Wolf Smilers. My name is Kate, and I'm the Assistant Site Manager here at the President James K. Polk State Historic Site. We're right down the street from your school. Did you guys know that where your school is and where the grocery store is and where the apartments are right over here, all of this used to be the farm that James K. Polk grew up on? until he was about your age. When he was 11, he moved to Tennessee. But growing up here in what's now Pineville was a really important part of making him who he was as a person and who he was as a president. So learning about our history here in Pineville and about the Polks is a really important part of knowing our local story, but also knowing our national story and our national history. So I hope you guys will have a chance to come out and visit us. Now it's a rainy day here today. Otherwise, I probably would have been filming this video for you guys in our really cool log cabins that we have. So you can come and visit those when we have tours and you can see what it would have been like to live in a house like James K. Polk did over 200 years ago. Right? So a really long time ago, what it would be like to be a kid then. Um, but since it's rainy, I'm here in our museum exhibit where we have a lot of other really cool stuff you can check out. Right behind me is a Mexican flag. And this was a flag that some soldiers had painted and they took with them into battle during the Mexican-American War. And this war happened while James K. Polk was the president. So this is a battle flag that was captured during the very last battle of that war. And I want you guys to take a look at it. Whenever we have our school groups here, we have them look at it and guess what animals you see. Okay, so take a look at that. Take a look with your parents, with your brothers and sisters, and see what animals you guys see on this flag. And then when you get a chance, when we're open again, you can come and visit, and we can tell you if you spotted them all, or if maybe you saw some extras, and if the ones you did find are correct. All right, hope you guys have a great end of the school year, and we hope we see you soon. Bye.